Welcome back to the Bluegrass on this beautiful November afternoon. I'm out on a little hike with the dogs, getting a socialization and exercise session in. And uh, we're gonna take a few minutes and we're gonna answer a question that I've been getting a lot in my email here lately, which is, hey, Uncle Stoney, what do you think about neutering dogs? Okay, so I have a fun little story and thought exercise for you, but if you <laughs> don't wanna wait and hear the long uh, extended version of this, I I'm not really a big fan of neutering dogs. You know, uh, pretty much all the reasons that they give you you know, for neutering a dog are just things that really relate to proper exercise and management and training. Okay, so that's the short answer. But if you want a little bit more nuanced version of why I believe what I believe, uh, I like to use a thought uh, experiment I call the left foot analogy. Okay, so just bear with me here. Let's say, for example, you guys, one of you wanted to come hang out with me and see what it's like, okay, to take dogs in and send dogs home. So maybe you show up on a Monday and there's 10 dogs here and uh, all the owners come in and we're talking about dog training and we're uh, maybe go for a little hike or watching the dogs play. And as all that's happening, the owners are articulating to me their, you know, their concerns with the dogs. And so the concerns are pretty common across dog owners, right? You know, they don't want their dogs to get in fights. Uh, they don't want their dogs to be involved in unplanned pregnancies. They don't want their dogs to roam off. Uh, they don't want their dogs to, you know, have health issues, you know, especially cancer. I mean, it's pretty common things, right? And those are things that, uh, you know, some people try to tie up with neutering. Okay, they'll say, well, Stoney, if you neuter a dog, they won't roam. If you neuter a dog, they uh, won't get in dog fights. If you neuter a dog, obviously, you're not going to get, uh, you know, unwanted pregnancies. If you neuter a dog, you're not going to get testicular cancer. Uh, and, you know, I mean, I just don't find that to be sound reasoning. And here's why. All of those things pretty much can uh, be headed off with proper nutrition, proper exercise, proper management, and proper training, okay? So let's explore those, those reasons a little bit more closely. It's a Monday. You come down here, there's 10 dogs coming in from my training program. All the dogs are running around, they're all pretty healthy, you know, and we're talking to the owners, and uh, you know, everything gets worked out, and I say bye, I'll see y'all later. A few weeks later, you come back because you wanna see what it's like when I send the dogs home. Now imagine if when you showed back up, those 10 dogs that had been healthy when you saw them before and run around playing, they were all still pretty healthy and they were all kind of running around and playing, although a little bit clumsily, because they were all missing their back left foot. What would be the first thing that you asked me? You'd probably say, Stoney, my gosh, what happened to their back foot? And I would say, well, you know, like uh, I cut off their back foot uh, you know, so that they, you know, would mind a little better. And you'd say, what? And I'd say, yeah, don't you remember? The owners didn't want them to roam. I cut off their back foot, they can't roam very far. You go, okay. Hey, don't you remember the dogs didn't want the dogs humping the other dogs? I cut off their back foot, so when they go to hump, they fall over, it's hard to hump and, you know, missing back foot, it worked perfectly, you know? Don't you remember the owners were worried about cancer? Well, I just reduced the incidence rate of uh, foot cancer by 25% by cutting off one of their feet. Would that sound reasonable to you? Of course not. And for those of you who think that that's not like, you're like, Stoney, what are you, where are you going with this analogy? Here's the question. I want you to pause the video when I ask a question and answer below, and then we'll see where I'm going with this analogy. For all of you guys out there, right, okay, if you had to choose between your testicles and your left foot, what would you choose? So just pause the video right there. Go down, write in the comment section. Let's see what you'd say. Okay. All right, now that you've written your answer, let's think about it. If a person comes out here and they see dogs and 10 of them are missing their back foot, they're gonna think I'm crazy. They're gonna think I'm some kind of monster. But if all the dogs, all 10 of them are missing their testicles, they're not gonna think a thing about it because they've been programmed to be you know, anti-masculinity. They've been programmed to think of neutering a dog as fixing the dog, as preventing problems, okay? But you can look in the comment section below. Now I'm guessing because I haven't posted the video yet, but you can look in the comment section below. And I bet nobody, not one man out there in real life uh, YouTube land, okay, said I would rather lose my testicles than my left foot. So I want you to think about that. The next time you go to the vet or the next time you're talking to your friends and they're talking about neutering your dogs so that they'll behave better. What would that conversation look like if they were telling you to cut off the dog's back left foot so it would behave better. All right, you guys put that in the comment section below. This should be a pretty lively little debate and uh, I'll see you next week. Good dogs. <laughs>